Hello. I unpacked my stuffed animals. <laughs> I'm in my new apartment. Really happy to be here. I have more stuff to go get for my sons today. Um, he offered to bring it over for me, but there's just less traffic if I go during the day than wait until him to bring it when he gets off work and he's like tired so from working so I can go get it it's nice not having a lot of stuff because it's easy to move it but I probably am going to buy some furniture because it's just as expensive to rent it as buying it so I was like hmm what's the point I mean I guess I'll have to figure out what to do with it when I move again because I don't think I will move my furniture but we will see in this one um, oh, but I'm also working in this um, gratitude journal that I really like. Um, Moments of Gratitude, a guided journal. I got that at Target. I had to move this way because there was a lot of glare from the window. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Psalm 23, 33b. On a plaque at a shrine, these words are inscribed. I come here to find myself. It is so easy to get lost in the world. We truly do need help in this co confusing life. Getting lost is a real danger for us. Recovering Christians are well aware of the many times they wandered astray. A real weakness of sheep is their lack of direction. That is, sheep have no homing instinct, no internal radar or guidance system. Horses, cats, and dogs can find their way. Sheep have no rudders or compasses. They also have poor eyesight. No wonder sheep wander. My little sheep. I did buy this when I was in Colorado last year visiting my son. Um, well, when I came in from Wyoming, it's a little, little mercantile shop near the border. Sheep. And this devotion made me think of when I used to horseback ride and um, if you fell off your horse, which I did, um, more than once, I think it was the second time I did it, I, uh, I, um, broke my leg. I fractured my leg. Um, it wasn't a serious break, but I fractured it. Um, and then, um, one time my friend and I were on uh, her pony and we were going up and down these things, the, these little dips. They made them. <laughs> and then um, the pony went this way and I thought the pony was going the other way. And so I leaned and I, I fell off and I pulled my friend off. Well, the horse, the pony, goes right to their their own house. They know the way. <laughs> they run away. <laughs> and then you're left walking home. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that made me think of that. Horses, I guess, have that, you know, they remembered from riding that way, you riding them that way all the time. 
We are much like weak-eyed, confused, and disoriented sheep. We need guidance and the right path. The right path is the 12 steps. When we know that, we cannot trust our own sense of direction. We begin to make the right moves. Recovery is not for self-confident, self-contained pioneers. Recovery is for blinded, rudderless sheep who know their weakness and who do not even attempt to make a move without the sure guiding hand of the shepherd. We cannot find our own way. We must depend on our program for guidance. So, yeah, it is a help. It's just admitting you, you need help. Dear Lord, thank you for your sure steps and secure hand to guide me in my blindness. Amen. Yeah, I got way off course. I didn't realize it immediately, but when I was away from God and not praying, I was like the little lost sheep. And the story in the Bible where where he leaves, the shepherd leaves the 99 to come and find the lost sheep. I was like the lost sheep. And um, I really never had as much of a problem with anxiety as I have now. And... Uh, And I do attribute that to just growing up with God. And um, because when I was, you know, I went to church and I saw the things my siblings did and stuff. And they even, were, it just, I just chose a different path because of them and um, and that it did, it caused my parents grief. Um, especially like my oldest brother who was on, you know, drugs most of his adult life. And he'd drink and he had motorcycles and he'd get in motorcycle accidents and it was just like, um, my mom is like that, was like, I am with my children. I'm just always concerned with them. They're always on my mind. I pray for them every day. Um, all of them, all five of them. Yeah, my mom and dad would pray for us all every day, but I know they were more concerned about some of us than others. <laughs> Sometimes they were concerned about me, but um, mostly they, they didn't, um, have to worry as much about those who weren't having problems or issues. So, um, yeah. And, uh, I became a Christian when I was young. I was in a Christian home, not, certainly not as Oh, cult-like as the Baptist church is. Sorry to say if you're Baptist, but um, it's just very um, too over the top. I went that way. I leaned that way in thinking it was better to be more um, zealous or whatever and um, more serious about it. Like sometimes I felt my parents weren't serious enough about it, but, um, and, I, and I kind of sometimes blamed my parents for my siblings' problems, but it was really, it wasn't their fault. I mean, they did the best they can, could. Sure, they made mistakes, we all make mistakes. Um, Uh, um, 
So, yeah. I'm glad the shepherd came after me. Keep praying. Don't stop praying. That's when I got lost. It was when I stopped praying. So pray for Red. Red will pray for you. Love you. Bye.